back at long last, as promised, with my what's in my diaper bag video. I've been talking about this for a long time and I waited till now to post it because I honestly wanted to become better acquainted with the bag and use it more. I don't use it every day. Uh, I think there are two camps of diaper bag moms. There's the camp that takes their bag everywhere, can't be parted with it, has to have it, uses it as an everyday take everywhere bag. And then there's the other camp that leaves it in the car. <laughs> and I'm in that camp. And I would not have assumed that um, before becoming a mom, but apparently I am. Anyway, this bag mainly lives in my car. Um, I've traveled with it once now. I'm about to travel with it again. And um, it's gone to grandma and grandpa's houses you know, and basically in friends' houses and things like that. And um, that's basically when I take it in somewhere, it's, we're going into somebody's house where we're spending several hours. Um, my daughter, Charlotte, still has pretty small wake times. She only is awake for under two hours between naps. It's really more like an hour and a half after she's eaten. Um, so we don't go out for very long. I try to nap her at home as much as possible because she sleeps best at home. Um, so when we're just running out for errands or something, we're usually in a store for less than 20 minutes. And I just don't, like why would I bring this whole thing into a store for 20 minutes? I just bring her, usually I'm wearing her in her, um, I have a new carrier, well it's not new anymore, but I haven't talked about it online yet, but I will in my next Mommy Favorites that I love that is the, um, I don't know how to pronounce it, so I better wait till I know how to pronounce it, but I'll talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. Let's talk about diaper bags. Okay, this is the Skip Hop Forma Diaper Backpack. I really like the backpack option because like I said, when I'm taking this summer, I see either because we're traveling or I'm going to somebody's house and I want my arms free for my baby and whatever, whatever else I have to manage, especially when traveling, and I kind of purchased this with uh, travel in mind uh, and I'm glad that I got it. I do like it a lot. I think it is a bit pricey for the quality that you get although that does not speak to the craftsmanship of the bag. I think that's more for me. I just think the um, material could be a little more durable for the price. I think the bag is really made very well and I love the organization that it comes with. I'm gonna go through all of that. Um, I do think the straps could be a little bit more reinforced. I read a lot of reviews before I bought the bag that the stroller strap, it has these built-in clip-on stroller straps that they just rip right off. So I actually went ahead and reinforced it many times over just with simple stitching. Um, even though I haven't attached the bag to my stroller in that way, I wanted to be sure that in the event that I ever wanted to, it wouldn't just like a break immediately. So I went ahead and did that. Um, uh, but yes, so I have mine packed to the gills because I don't carry it everywhere I feel like I can keep it really stuffed with things and then like I said it lives in my car So if I ever need something I can just grab it out um, So the bag itself backpack shaped I think it comes in this color black and then a teal color and you'll see the interior of this bag is teal Which is great for a color pop to really see your items inside it has two um, Bottle pockets although they're they're pretty tight when you have the bag pretty full so I don't know about that and then there's a medium um, exterior pocket and a small uh, slip pocket. So I'm going to go through the exterior pockets of the bag first and one side I have, you can see it's like, this is a bottle, like a baby bottle shaped bottle um, and it was hard to get in out of there but this is just emergency backup water um, that I keep in the bag just for myself for drinking or if I need to wash something off or anything. I've never had occasion to use it but I like to have emergency water. That's a little Life Factory bottle. And then on the other side, I have this little pouch, and I bought this set of these, and I really like them from Art of Lunch. I've liked reusable snack pouches like this for years, but the ones that I've used before are Velcro, which is really loud and annoying, especially if you're like on an airplane or in a public space where you're trying to be quiet, or like in a theater or something, and you want to have a little snack during a performance, you know, Velcro's not going to cut it. These are zipper, which I really like, so it's the same concept. You can wash them. I think you can even put them in the dishwasher. I hand wash mine. Um, but I keep mixed nuts in there. My favorite mixed nuts at the moment is this um, trail mix from Nature's Way, I believe, and it's cashews, pistachios, and almonds, but I love it. And I always keep that in here. And I keep the bag in my passenger seat, in the front seat, passenger seat of the car. So if I'm really hungry and we're on the road, I can just reach in and grab that. I have a lot more food in here for me, uh, which I'll show you, because I have like emergency stash 
snacks. Um, I find as a breastfeeding mama, I get really, really hungry really quickly out of nowhere. Um, so I have to have food on me at all times. Okay, so let's go through this front pocket. Uh, so, here you can kind of see a little bit, a hint of the teal. The front pocket comes, it's just kind of like a slip pocket, although it's pretty roomy. It has a, um, a slip pocket actually in it, which I keep uh, my favorite lip balm. This is the Smith's um, Rose Lip Balm. This is the minted version, I really like that. So that's just easy for me to grab. And then I actually have a dog poopy bag. Um, but you can use that as a diaper, um, you know, to, um, if you have a poopy diaper that you want to wrap up and, and not have stinky and leave in somebody's trash or something, you can use that. But that's a Winnie bag, technically. And then I have my little wallet. I talked about this in last month's favorites video. Um, this is the Louis Vuitton, Louis, I never say this right, Louis Vuitton Monogram Emprunt something leather and grape. Don gave this to me for my birthday. I love it. It has my car key in it, my cash, and all my important cards. When I go into a store with Charlotte, I take this and my phone. My phone goes in one back pocket, this goes in the other, and Charlotte gets strapped to me in the baby carrier. Okay, then this middle pocket's really cool because it actually, it opens up really nice and wide, which is great, even it has reinforced sides so it doesn't go like flopping open, but you know, you can really get in there. And then it came with these two pouches. It came with packet cubes, you guys. It did, it came with packing cubes. In the bottom, I have a couple of Ziploc bags. I have a quart size and a gallon size. Again, this is just me and my like, what if, in case of emergency thing, I always travel with my luggage with bags like this and I kind of treat this as a piece of luggage. So those are just, just in case, you never know when you're gonna need a Ziploc bag. So like I said, the bag came with these two pouches. This one is the mesh one. And this is the bag, this is the area of the bag where I keep my personal things. Um, so for now, because uh, this just works out for now. I have a little, <laughs> Hello Kitty tin with treats from Winnie. Um, and then I have hand cream. This is like a huge hand cream, um, but it's a really nice um, eczema therapy hand cream. I don't have eczema, but this is really nice because it's non-scented and it's kind of more, um, you know, it's just easy with a baby to have a non-scented thing. I have a little stick of um, sunscreen stick, pure mineral sunscreen stick by Baby Ganics. Haven't used this yet. Charlotte is just about to turn six months old and that's when you're like cleared to use um, sunscreen, but we're going to be traveling, so I will definitely be checking, uh, testing this out because we're going to be at the beach. And then a couple of my little personal things. I have the Tarte Smooth Operator Amazonian Clay Press Finishing Powder Compact. Haven't had oily skin in over a year since basically I conceived last spring. Um, but I still carry this around out of habit, just in case. I have my little Sephora pop-up brush, which has a, also has a mirror in it. I have a little package of tissues. Always good to have tissues, whether you're a mom or not. A couple of um, breast pads. I think these are by Lansano. Th is that how you pronounce that brand? I think so. And I think, I haven't worn these for months, you guys. I only wore breast pads for the first couple of months until uh, Charlotte was about eight weeks old and my supply kind of steadied. Um, and I mostly wore um, bamboo, uh, cloth ones that I washed, but I like to have the disposable ones in my diaper bag for on the go and they just stayed in there, so I don't know. And then I have my house keys on this little keychain that somebody from Malaysia sent to me years and years ago, a, a viewer from Malaysia, so thanks friend. Still use it. Okay, and then this one's actually a thermo, what do they call it? It's like a a hot cold pack, you know, it's it's insulated. I don't know what exactly what to call it. It reminds me of like a mini lunchbox. Um, so in the future, I would put food for Charlotte in here, but she's not quite on solids yet. Very soon though, very, very soon. We're actually very soon starting solids. So right now I just have some snacks for me. And by some, I mean a lot. A lot of my favorite um, kind of snack bars. These are the uh, Nature's Bakery Stone Ground Whole Wheat Fig Bars. And then I have a Trader Joe's Fruit Bar, I love these. A Kind uh, Oats and Honey with Toasted Coconut, Chewy with a Crunch Bar, these are my favorite uh, Kind Bars. Then I have a couple 100 calorie packs of Nuts by Emerald, the Dry Roasted Almonds, and the Dill Pickle Cashews. Um, I bought those a long time ago. Um, from Target kind of on a whim. I prefer the other nuts that I have in the little zip pocket, uh, zip pouch that I told you guys about. But those are, these is, this is like my stash, right? If I like am in a 
dire need of a snack. And these pouches are designed to fit perfectly into this front pocket. Oh, I emptied that other one. Um, but you don't have to use them in there. You can use them in whatever way you want. Um, but they do fit really well in that pocket. Okay, so now we're gonna go through the main part of the bag. So when you open the flap, you can see the beautiful teal interior. I just love that, I think it's so nice. And I'll kind of hold it up so you can see how I have it organized. Um, I'm mostly implementing layered but vertical organization, except for this top part. So the bag itself comes with this changing pad, which I have never ever used, but I keep it in here. Why do I keep it in here? I'm not exactly sure. I keep thinking like, as we venture out more and, and Charlotte can stay awake longer and we're, and we're traveling more and all that, um, I have a diaper changing pad built into this little diaper clutch that I use, but it, there's no padding in it at all. Whereas this is a little bit padded, so I could put this underneath that for comfort. But is that totally necessary? No. Um, but anyway, that came with the bag. That was another thing that came with the bag, so I thought I should mention that. This I got this very inexpensively from JJ Cole, and I love this. Charlotte's very long. Um, she's in like the 98th percentile for height. So I was looking for a diaper changing, um, like a diaper clutch that had a pad included that was long. And this is the one I found. It's actually rather inexpensive. So I keep this in the top of my bag because if I'm gonna run in somewhere and I don't need the whole bag, but I need her diaper stuff, I can just grab this, it has everything I need in it. I don't need that whole big honking bag. I can throw this in the bottom of the stroller, you know? So that works out great. And what I like about this is not just a, a standalone case, it actually, every, everything's built into it. So it's not wasting any space. There's no extra fabric, if you know what I mean. So it opens up and I'll show you what I mean. It's very bright, it's like neon. You can see how long it is. It's like pretty long for a diaper changing pad. Again, there's absolutely no padding to it. I think there's a little bit of padding on one end for their head, but it's really not much. But it's got this sort of um, water resistant vinyl on one side, which is great. Eye catching color, and then this built in bit with the storage. So everything's built in, there's no extra fabric, and it's not taking up any more room than necessary. So on one side are these little flaps that you can hold. Um, travel wipes, I, I have wet, uh, what are they called? Water wipes is what we use. And then on the other side, you can fit uh, diapers. You can fit a lot more diapers in here than I do. I have four diapers in there. We use Honest Company diapers. And then I I actually make my own diaper lotions and potions, I guess. Um, so I have a little uh, grapefruit seed extract um, diluted in distilled water that I use just to keep yeast at bay. We struggled with yeast in the beginning part of our journey together, so I just always spritz her bottom with that after I wipe her clean. And then um, I uh, use a hand, I, I made this little coconut cream, I call it, but it's coconut oil mixed with um, grapefruit seed extract. And that's what I use in, in place of maybe like a diaper cream or something. But I use the both things every time I change her diaper and that's kept us diaper rash free for the last several months, which has been great. So this, I can't show you this right now, but this folds up really easily into itself. It's really easy on the go. I've used this on the floor in the airport, at grandparents' houses, great. And then attached to it on this, I mean this, you know, it's not the most together thing, but it works. Um, and then on the, attached to it on the side, I have the um, Arm & Hammer. I think this is by Munchkin, a little diaper bag, re, um, disposable bag caddy. Um, and when I'm out at somebody's house, like I said, I don't feel comfortable putting stinky um, diapers in somebody's garbage. This is waste, I wouldn't do this at home. It's very wasteful. Um, at home we use biodegradable trash bags. We have biodegradable diapers, uh, but for the once in a while that we're out and about and I wanna wrap up a stinky diaper or if I have to have it in my bag all day, I use one of these bags. And they're basically like poopy bags for baby diapers. Like dog poopy bags for baby diapers, if you know what I mean. Okay, so now you can kinda of see the next layer. This bag holds so much, you guys. And like I said, I wouldn't pack so much if I actually carried this around with me everywhere. I have this stuffed to the gills because this is like literally everything I would ever want in my car ever. Um, so uh, the, the, the bag just has this wide slip pocket in the back which holds the, the removable diaper pad. I also have a couple of these books in here. 
Um, these were given to me at my shower and they're great. I've actually just bought a bunch more to travel with because they're so small and light. They're the Indestructibles Chew Proof Reproof Non-Toxic 100% Washable Books. They're mostly picture books, but I'm the kind of person who makes up stories anyway, so I can make up my own stories when I'm showing Charlotte or she could chew on it or just you know, she's not sitting down and reading a book it's at almost six months old, but she likes looking at books and looking at the pictures and then I can make up the words for her. Um, so these are really great and lightweight and easy to have in your diaper bag. All right, I'll lift this back up so we can take a look. I'm gonna go through the um, this main compartment of the bag first and then I'll go through the two built-in um, pouches with you. Okay, so this next level you can see I'm using vertical organization, but again, we're on a, a tiered I have like three levels of vertical organization. So I have two blankets because I like to have at any given time in my car, two different weights of blankets. I have a uh, muslin blanket by Aiden and Anae, um, and this is great. I use this as a nursing cover when I need to nurse her in public, which I've only ever had to do when I'm traveling. Um, I've tried two other kinds of actual like nursing covers and they just were either too hot or too cumbersome or too difficult, um, or all three. So I find just using a nice big muslin blanket works perfectly. This one I bought a long time ago actually when we were in Pittsburgh, no, not Pittsburgh. We were in, um, yeah, well we were in Pennsylvania last summer and I bought this um, before I even knew, um, well, I knew that Charlotte was a girl, didn't I? Yeah, I did. But uh, I, this is one of the first things I bought. Um, and I loved it because it came with its own pouch. So to me, that keeps it nice and clean and separate, especially with something I'm nursing her with that she's maybe gumming on a little bit. I want it to be clean. That was a long story for that. And then I have another blanket. This is a little Carter's blanket. It's a mid-weight blanket. It's just in case it's chilly somewhere and I need another layer for her. It's got little bunnies on it, so it's pretty cute. Um, I have another one of the Art of Lunch pouches that came in the set and I have this packed to the gills right now because um, we're traveling so it's a bit more packed than it would be on any given day but this is what I keep our little on the go toy stash in just to keep them all together and clean and stuff because she's in this real gumming phase so a lot of these things she sticks right in her mouth, right? Um, this is a new favorite of hers, these little sassy rings. I actually have two sets of these, one that I keep clipped to uh, her car seat that she loves to play with in the car and then one in my diaper bag for if we're out of the car, you know, and on the go. So these are great because she can gum on them, we can kind of clip them all around in a chain and make a little toy out of them, so those are great. I have a little rattle, she never plays with that, I could probably leave that out. We have a little Sophie teether. She's just kind of getting into the teething toys, like the actual teething toys. I have a few little um, toys that you can put attached to, you know, like a stroller or car seat bar. Little bugs, I think these are by Sassy. Sassy makes great toys. I have some rings. I have more rings. I don't know why I need that many rings. I don't need that many rings. I have, um, a little baby paper. This was another gift at my shower that a friend with a baby swears by. And it's just, whatever this noise is, babies just think it's amazing. And it's just something to keep them occupied with and it's so light and simple and small. Um, so that works great. And then I have this. This is not a baby toy. Don't give something this small to your baby. But it's a little finger puppet. And sometimes when I need to distract Charlotte, I'll just whip this out and just make a little game out of it and you know, kind of, she'll kind of look at it and think it's cute. So it's just a little monster finger puppet. I think I bought it at Carter's on clearance, but we also have a little cat finger puppet in the stroller. Uh, just little, my little bag of tricks here. Um, Charlotte, you know, I don't bring these things out a lot. Like I said, this is mostly packed for travel, so I try to keep these toys different than the ones that she has at home um, for a little bit of variety and to keep her interested when we're on the road but this is something she's very familiar with and loves. Um, so I think it's important to have both. And of course, we never leave home without Bunsy. Bunsy, we have two Bunsies. Bunsy's her lovey. You can see the one that's resting on my um, headboard there. But uh, that's her lovey that she, she loves. Um, and we never go anywhere without Bunsy. Okay, and then last on that layer, I have um, these kind of just floating around, but so packed that they don't float around. These I've talked about in favorites too, actually. These are the Zutano booties. I'm um, gonna have them clipped together, but they're just these little kind of sock-like booties almost that are just so easy to put on baby's feet. They have two um, different snaps for adjustable sizes, and it's just a lightweight shoe option instead of a shoe or socks if you're out and you want to cover up their feet just for a little extra warmth or protection. And then a little sun hat now that it's 
you know, summer I like to keep her protected in that way. During the winter I had a knit hat in there. Um, but uh, this is just a, a cute little lightweight sun hat from Sutano and it folds up to nothing. Okay, now you can see we're really getting to the bottom of the bag now. Here's the bottom layer. And this is a little wet dry bag that I bought off Amazon and I don't think it says the brand on it anywhere. But I'll have all these things linked for you guys if you care to see. And what it is, it's just like a water resistant kind of lined, coated bag um, that's supposed to kind of keep odors in too. So if you have soiled clothing or wet clothing, um, you can pop them in. So I keep the clean clothes in the smaller pocket here and the bigger pocket I keep um, empty in the event that we have soiled clothes, we can put them in there. So I don't know if you could tell by the way I was holding it up, but, but there's the smaller pocket here and the bigger pocket there. So there's nothing in the bigger pocket. But I will open up the smaller pocket and show you what I've got in there. I've got different outfit change, wardrobe change options. So a pair of footless PJs, these are from Carter's. I love the little um, flamingos. They're so cute with the bows in their hair. This is if, you know, it's a little bit cooler or we need a little bit more coverage and she has a blowout or something. I mean, Charlotte really doesn't have very many diaper leak problems, surprisingly. I thought that was a very common baby thing, but we really don't, haven't had a huge issue with that, but I like to be prepared. Um, and then I have a little hat and socks, and these I think I got at Target in a set. Um, and these are just, like I said, if we're out somewhere it's really cold and we need some layering options. More layering options. I have this little Baby Gap sweater. We actually have two of these, so I leave one in the diaper bag. Um, this is six to 12 month size. It's a little big, but it still kind of fits her right now, but it's going to fit her for a while. I um, mean, it's really small and easy to pack uh, in a diaper bag sort of thing, and it's white, so it goes with everything. And then I have a Gerber, Gerber? Look, I always say this wrong. I believe it's Gerber, um, six to nine month uh, white onesie. And did you know that Gerber, um, trademarked the term onesie. Everybody calls bodysuits onesies, but that's really just Gerber, Gerber's thing. Otherwise, they're bodysuits, if you're a stickler for things like that. I mean, I didn't know that before I had a baby. Um, but anyway, I keep these things kind of neatly tucked in here for emergency purposes. So I'm gonna put that back in there and we'll zip that up. And I keep this on the bottom of the bag because it's something that I probably, I never have actually used their backup clothing, so I never really access it. But you never know when you're gonna need it, especially when you're on an airplane. Okay, last part of the bag. I know this video is getting long. I'm gonna try to wrap it up. Are these two elastic pouches here, and I've got these stuffed. I mean, you can really fit a lot in there. So you could put diapers in there, obviously, or bottles or whatever. Um, but I have the diapers in the diaper clutch, and we don't use bottles, so I use it for other things. I have a little Ziploc bag of Medela, like super strength antibacterial disinfectant wipes. These are made for pumps, actually. But if you're traveling or somewhere where you just really want to disinfect something, I just, instead of bringing the whole pouch, I just put them in a little Ziploc bag. Keeps them nice and moist without having to carry the whole thing. I have a couple of uh, diaper cloths. These are from Target. I think they're by Circo. No, they're, they're by Gerber. Gerber? Gerber, I still don't know. Um, for spit ups and things. I have, oh, here I have a big pack of something. Never used these either, but these are saline wipes by Boogie Wipes. And I feel like this is something we're gonna use more when she's older. I bought it for travel, I haven't used it yet, um, but they're, they're more um, like face safe. Those other wipes that I showed you are really strong. Um, and I don't know, I guess I could just use her wipe wipes, but I, since I only use the travel packs of wipes and there's not many in there, I like to save those for diaper issues. Um, so there's that. So that was in one of the pouches. And the other one I have a backup um, set of travel water wipes. So I think this comes with 10 wipes. Mm -hmm. I have a bib. Still haven't worn bibs yet. I mean, Charlotte drools, but not that much yet. But I feel like we're really entering, like, she just started teething in the past couple of weeks, and I feel like we're gonna get very drooly soon. So I have a little bib, and this is by Green Sprouts. A little terry cloth bib. Um, I have a whole set of these, but I just have one in the diaper bag. A couple of these little washcloths, I use these um, to kind of pat her face dry from dribbles or whatever. Um, so it's kind of an additional um, drool, uh, what do I want to say, burp cloth kind of thing. It's not a burp cloth, but you know what I mean. I have uh, the Honest Company hand sanitizer spray for me. 
um, especially useful when traveling. A pair of my favorite infant sunglasses. These are by uh, Rochambeau, and these are in the pink ones. She has purple ones that live in our stroller. Pink ones in the diaper bag. And then this is a little Vera Bradley uh, pacifier pouch. Charlotte's never really taken to pacifiers. I have, I know this may be, can be sound like a crazy mom, but I went through so many pacifiers because I was a little bit desperate for her to really like one in the beginning um, of our experience together. Uh, and I think I tried about 10 or 12 different kinds of pacifiers, I know crazy. So I have a bag of sterilized pacifiers in the event that we're blessed with another child. I'll have lots to choose from. The only one that she ever kind of, and eh, now I just threw it over there on the floor. That's good. Well, we're going to have to wipe, wash that one again, but that's okay. The only one she ever kind of took for a hot second was this one um, by Hevia. I, he, Hevea? I'm not really sure how to pronounce it. <sighs> yeah, I'm going to have to wash this off. It's a natural rubber, um, pacifier and the orthodontic shape. It's the only one she ever liked. Of course, the most expensive one. She liked it, like I said, for a hot second. And then I have this little pouch from Vera Bradley that was a shower gift just to keep it clean. Now, she doesn't really, I mean, she hasn't even tried a pacifier in a couple of months, to be honest, but I keep it in my diaper bag in case of emergency. It might work at some point <laughs> if I need it to. Um, and that is everything that's in there. One of the great things about this bag is that it's super lightweight. So I have it packed with a ton of stuff, as you can see, even like a glass water bottle, and it's still not overwhelmingly heavy. I don't bring quite, I think I bring all of this stuff minus the water bottle when I'm traveling. Um, and I probably pop in a couple of more things. I, I would pop in our backup Bunsy, and I would use, I have another one of these pouches um, by Art of Lunch that I put backup Bunsy in. And then I would also put in, uh, what else? Um, you know, her like travel information. I always bring a copy of her birth certificate when we're traveling. Um, and also um, earmuffs uh, in case it's really, really loud on the plane so she can sleep. They're, they're, not, they're not headphones, they're just muffs, basically infant muffs. That is everything that's in my diaper bag. So it's a lot of stuff, like I said. If I carried this around every day, I would pare it down a lot more and just have like a backup kit in my car. But this is the backup kit. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'd love to know what you keep in your diaper bag if you care to share. If there's anything you think that's really useful or interesting, diaper bag paraphernalia, let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye you guys. Take care.